All right, everybody. Uh, this is going to be a uh, installation guide on how to how to install this um, bumper scratch guard um, on your Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, again, this is a 2012 Hyundai Santa Fe. Um, when I purchased it, um, it did not have a bumper scratch guard, um, and none of them did. And what uh, it looks like is um, they don't sell. Um, these pieces here, you actually have these little sticker um, scratch guard things. Um, I had to actually go through a um, place in Canada, which uh, you'll find out later. And um, that's what it looks like installed. Let me close this up. And uh, it looks pretty good. So, uh, overall, it came out well. And uh, pretty easy to. Um, to put on. So, uh, there you go. Alright everybody, uh, today we're going to go ahead and uh, put on the uh, bumper scratch guard. Um, this is the Hyundai Santa Fe 2012 and as you can see right here in the back, there is no scratch guard. So when people put in uh, items into the back of the trunk area, you get little dings and scratches like that. Now, for some reason, the uh, Cal uh, United States versions don't have these little um, scratch bumper guard things like this. And um, I had to go ahead and order this part um, from Canada. So I had a friend of mine who lived in Canada, and I went ahead and I bought this part. It is, uh, let's see, let's see, it's a Hyundai approved accessory for 2012 Santa Fe. Let's see if I can get this focused in. Okay, there's the part number. It is, uh, in case you can't read it very well, there we go, it is uh, 010CRRBP00. Uh, vendor part number is 13685, rear bumper protector. Okay, so it says the only thing we need is a spray bottle, which I have an empty spray bottle. A spatula, which is right here. A hair dryer, which I don't think I need to use. And then this uh, solution um, is here. And then a soft cloth, which is what I've got. So the first thing I have to do, though, is clean this area. So I went ahead and I got some uh, turtle wax. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this area, and then um, I'll come back and we'll see what we got going on after that. Alright, I went ahead and I just finished uh, waxing and washing and cleaning this area. So it looks pretty shiny. So now the next thing to do is to position this piece on here, like so. Spray some solution on and then uh, we'll be able to uh, call it done. All right, so we'll come back and show you that in a second. Okay, um, looks like it went on. Okay, um, it's drying now. Um, a couple of air bubbles right here, which I'll work out. You see that? Um, take this little squeegee, and you, and you just kind of got to go back and forth. Um, but not so bad. Looks pretty good. It fits nice. The black into the uh, into the back and um, with the logo. So, all in all, so far, this is an easy project to do. Um, Gonna let this thing dry three hours and then we'll come back. If there's any air bubbles and it tells us to use a um, hair dryer to uh, uh, get the air bubbles out. So other than that, I think that's it for the project and I'll come back in tomorrow and I'll let you see what it looks like after it all dry and, and done.